Okay, how do we use redshift to measure the recessional velocity of galaxies? Now this is a process that's been around for a little while. Edwin Hubble used it uh, in establishing his Hubble's law. So he used this to measure the, the recessional velocity of galaxies and discovered that the ones that were furthest away from us were traveling most quickly away from us. Uh, it's fairly accurate and the way we do it is this. We first of all get some light from the distant galaxy. Uh, and we put it through a diffraction grating or through a prism, so we get the kind of the rainbow. Uh, and what we see is a, is a pattern like this. So we get those black lines there, um, which are really important. It's those spectral lines um, that allow us to do this. So here we've got the wavelength. The scale on the top is a wavelength in nanometers. Um, and we can identify that those black lines correspond to specific elements. Um, just because of the size of the black lines and also the gaps, between, the size of the gaps between them. And we can take those elements and we can actually do experiments on Earth to compare their emission spectra when they're stationary with their emission spectra from the galaxy. So if we do the same, take the same chem chemicals and, and do it on Earth, what we find is this. Now obviously the, the scale, the lines appear to be in the same location but shifted left or right. So um, they seem to be further to the left uh, in the lab. Now what that means is this, the Doppler shift, this term, the, di the Doppler shift, which is lamp, the change in wavelength of this line here indicated by that red arrow, uh, is roundabout, it's moved from 420 nanometers from the distant galaxy, and it should be 395, so the spectral shift is about 35 nanometers. It's moved in the, in the distance galaxy, it's moved towards a red end, it's been red shifted, this tells us the galaxy is moving away from us because the wavelengths has stretched. Well, how do we use that to find out the recession velocity? Well, we use the Doppler equation. The Doppler equation is this. The almost equal to sign there for V over C is because of the effects of, uh, of very high speed movement um, where mass starts to become uh, transferred into, into energy and energy into mass. Um, so at normal velocities, that's, we can assume that's equal. We rearrange out the formula to get this, where 395 is our original wavelength. Okay, so 35 is our changing wavelength, this is the Doppler shift divided by the original, the stationary wavelength gives us that, gives us a recessional velocity for this star of 2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second away from us. Oh sorry, not star, galaxy.